Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale this Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. Now this has two sides to your coffee maker. It's got a coffee maker on this side, and then it's got this single serve on this side. It's got two different uh, heating elements and water reservoirs that we need to clean. I'm going to be using distilled white vinegar. You can get this for a buck fifty at Walmart. It's 64 fluid ounces, and we're only going to use about half of it. So you need to descale this. Um, they, the manufacturer recommends every month. I, I try to do it about every three months, depending on how hard your water is and if your clean light comes on. So there's a clean light on this display. If that clean light comes on, then it's time to descale. And what the descaling is going to do is, so inside your coffee maker, you've got a heating element that hard water deposits can um, build up on it, and your heating element won't work as good. So if your coffee's not tasting as good as it should, or if it's not heating up as hot as it should, or if it's taking longer to brew, those are all three signs that uh, it's time to descale. So first I'm gonna do the coffee pot side, and then we're gonna do the single serve side. So over here, we're gonna be putting the vinegar back here where the, in the water reservoir. So we wanna make sure there's no filter, no coffee grounds, your coffee pot is empty, we're going to put two cups of vinegar back here. Okay, so again, this is distilled white vinegar. And it says two cups. Okay, so we're going to put the two cups of vinegar right where the water goes, back here in the water reservoir. Now, remember, make sure no coffee grounds, no coffee filter. We're going to make sure we close this. Okay, so we're going to make sure we're on the cafe side. So we're going to be doing, we're going to, we'll be turning this side on. We're going to turn this on. It's going to start brewing that vinegar. So it's going to smell for a little bit. But they want us to turn that, they want us to turn that switch off after 30 seconds. So basically, you're just going to start to, it's going to start heating up the vinegar. It's going to start coming out a little bit and then turn it off. The idea is to get that vinegar all around that heating element. And for it to soak. So see, I've got the, the vinegar is starting to come out. And you can wait 30 seconds to a minute, be fine. Okay, so it's been about a minute. I'm gonna turn the coffee maker off. So it's gonna stop brewing the vinegar, and the vinegar is going to be back here in the water reservoir still so you see how there's some vinegar down in there still but the idea is so down in your heating element it's going to be all covered with that vinegar and that vinegar will soak on that calcium and kind of break it up so when we turn it back on we're going to wait 30 minutes after 30 minutes you're just going to come up here and turn it back on you may see some white calcium deposits coming out of your brew head and in your basket that's okay we're just going to wash those out Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. We're just going to come up here and turn the coffee maker back on. And we're going to let it finish brewing that vinegar out. It's only going to take about, oh, a couple, about three or four minutes before that vinegar is completely brewed out. And you'll know that by the coffee maker stops that percolating sound. And to do both sides, you're going to have to give yourself about an hour, hour and a half of time to kind of do this. But, you know, it does get to sit for 30 minutes. But when we're rinsing this, we can have this side soaking. So when we, we're gonna, the vinegar is gonna come through here, we're gonna dump that vinegar out, and I'm gonna rinse this out with soap and water. Then we'll put fresh water in on this side, and we'll run the fresh water through, and we'll put some vinegar over here, one cup, and we can have that soaking while we're rinsing this side. So I, I cut open a coffee maker. This was a bun coffee maker. This was the water reservoir inside this bun coffee maker. And this was a coffee maker that was about eight years old that no one had descaled. And it's absolutely full of calcium. There's the heating element. I just wanted to show you this. Um, this is why we descale. Your coffee's gonna taste really bad and the heating element's not gonna be able to heat up. So I've been saving this, using it as a demonstration. Okay, so you can tell it's getting to the end because you're getting that kind of steam up around the lid and it's kind of, Letting you know it's letting you know that it's done. All the vinegar is out. 
So we're going to let it finish up here and then we're going to put the vinegar in over here. We'll put it in this, this we put the vinegar right where the water goes. And so we know it's done because now the keep warm light came on. So that lets us know that the it's brewed all the vinegar out. So I'm just going to turn it off. I'm going to switch it over to the single side. So on the single side, they want us to do one cup of pure vinegar. So we're just going to dump that one cup of pure vinegar right back here where the water goes. And make sure you got like a something to catch. We're going to put down here. We're going to put a container down here to catch the water. We're going to close the lid. We're going to open this up. So I just want to make sure um, this is all empty. It's okay to leave this in there, but we don't want a cake up or anything. So we're going to close it down, snap it. Again, make sure we're on the single serve side. The single serve light is lit. And now you got to be pretty quick with this. So we're going to start. It's brewing on the single serve side. So what's going to happen is, is that vinegar, it's going to get heated up first. After it's heated up, then it's going to shoot it out with a pump. So that's when we want to stop it. We're going to let it heat up. And then as soon as you get water coming out of here, you're going to hit the stop button. You're just going to turn the coffee maker off. And this takes less than a minute to heat that water, that vinegar up. Okay, so the vinegar is brewing. It's starting to come out. We're just going to turn it off. Now we want to let this, this sit for 30 minutes on this side over here. But in the meantime, I can switch back over. So right now I'm in the single serve. I can switch over to the cafe. And we'll finish up over here. So this was that vinegar. I'm going to go throw that vinegar out. And I'm going to rinse this out with soap and water. You might see some white calcium kind of floating down. That means it's doing its job. If you see some white particles down in there, that means it's doing its job. If you see really, really big chunks, you may want to descale this a couple times and kind of increase your interval of when you're descaling. Okay, so I filled this up to the 12 mark with just fresh water. I'm going to pour it here back where the, wa where the water goes. So you may want to take this out and rinse this out too. And then you're going to put it, make sure you put it back in. No filter, no coffee grounds. We're going to close the lid and make sure you're on the cafe side. And I'm just going to start this. And what that's going to do, that's going to brew that water through there. This is a fresh water rinse, they call it. So we're going to do this two to three times. It takes at least two times to get all that vinegar kind of smell and taste out of the coffee maker I usually do three times so each pot takes you know about 10 12 minutes and that's all we're gonna do and then you'll be done on this side so when it brews it this will just be this will just be clean water we'll go throw that out we'll fill it up and again do that three times on this side and then by that time it should be about 30 minutes and then we can finish up on this side Okay, so I've run two pots of fresh water on this side, and now I'm gonna switch over. I'm gonna go dump this out. I'm gonna turn the coffee maker off. I'm gonna switch it over to the single serve side, and I'm gonna turn it back on. Now what that's gonna do is that's gonna finish, it's gonna heat up that vinegar again on this side. So I haven't touched anything. I left this closed. I've got my container down here. It's going to finish brewing the rest of that vinegar through there. Okay, so here comes the vinegar out. Okay, so it's done brewing the vinegar. I'm going to go throw this vinegar out. And I'm going to rinse this out with soap and water. Then I'm going to fill this up with 14 ounces. I'm going to fill it up with 14 ounces of fresh water. That's the maximum this can hold on this side. So I'm going to open this up. Just make sure the needles aren't clogged. If you've got some big calcium deposits trying to come through, they could clog the needles, but everything looks good. Again, I'm going to close that. I've got my, this is fresh water now. We're going to do three of these rinses. 
basically 14 ounces is going to is going to fill it up to the max so we're just shy of the 14 ounce but that's the max close the lid again on the single serve side and we're just going to do a brew so i'm going to do three of these fresh water rinses i did two on this side three on this side i could do three on this side if i wanted to but this is ready to go after this is done like i said you got to give yourself about an hour hour and 15 minutes but you really should keep up on descaling I hope this video helps. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I check my comments on a daily basis. Um, this has been a really popular um, coffee maker. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.